All right, I'm getting to find out what I'm able to do at the minute. Okay. Yes, YouTube. Welcome to another video. In today's video, I am going to be sharing two things. One, my experience of riding an e-bike, uh, which I've done before, but it's slightly different. Uh, we're going to go and test out a form e-bike. And uh, yeah, it's my first time ever riding a form bike, that's for sure. So we'll see how that goes. And then the first part of this video is going to be me showing you around the shop. PCR performance, PCR e-performance, I should say. There it is. Look at that. Isn't that impressive? Let's get a better shot of it. Now that is a good looking store, isn't it, from outside? I mean, you don't see shops like that. And there's two ways to enter this store, and I'm going to show you both of them. Okay, so the first entrance is via the corner just here. So if you're on foot or riding your bike in, you could just walk down this path and enter via these doors here. Uh, with regards to locking your bike up, you could potentially use the railings. I believe they are going to get some bike locking storage set up just here, but for now you could use the fencing and then enter via that door there. But if you're driving in, there is a rear car park and there is specific spaces for customers for PCR e-performance because there's other businesses around here that share the car park. However, around this sort of time, around the sort of four o'clock mark a lot of the office places are closing i think tuesdays and thursdays generally are busy but wednesday nights which they have a late night trade on and you can get coffee from the place at the same time um they're all shut and you can pretty much use any car park space oh look at that it's just uh let's get rid of the grass eh? i ain't gonna touch those dudes <laughs> but yeah there we go you can see it now number six holly's court so you'll drive around here and then there you have it. There's our second entrance. The doors don't just open, they've got to know you're there and they'll uh, unlock them for you, which is automatic with the press of a button, I believe. But they're pretty responsive. They've got cameras on the door so they know when there's someone there.
Hey. Well, I'm actually riding down the exact road that I came down on my road bike a few weeks ago for my first ride back. Uh, so I've done a road bike ride. I've done a enduro full suspension mountain bike ride. And now I'm riding an e-bike. So this is the Forms leader in off-road EMTB. The Form Shuttle Pro E. Powered by the range topping Bosch Gen 4 performance line CX motor. Shuttle Pro E offers up to 85 newton meters of torque to power your adventures. Step on the pedals and feel the power when you take on the most ambitious climbs or feel the flow from the electric tailwind when breezing past the trees. The range topping EMTB with a generous 150mm forks travel and 150mm rear wheel travel combined with 29 inch wheels. It is designed to take on the roughest descents and deliver unrivaled fun of whatever kind of trail you want to take on. So that's the write up, I'll tell you what I think at the end. So I'm going to get over to Canic and I'm going to hit as many runs as I possibly can and as safely as I possibly can. Got the chest mount on again, chest and back support, protection, not having a Greg's today. Alright let's get there. Oh, just one other thing I'd like to add. I have actually ridden this bike for the last 6.7 miles with the battery turned off, uh, just saving it. I'd rather have it on the way back than on the way there. <laughs> but I'm, uh, I think I'm gonna turn it on now, just go eco. That's two weeks in a row now that I've managed to land decent weather on a ride. All I've got to do now is get out with the lads. I did have the option to ride with the lads, so we've got Ash who's gone with Josh up, up north. I've gone to ride the Golfy, which is on my hit list. Not the hit list, just, you know, a place I want to really ride. Uh, but each time I've gone up there, uh, we've just been too shattered to, to ride it and it takes a lot of effort to get up there. So we said next time we go, we'd hit that first, only I've not made the trip. Damn! And I did consider it right to the bitter end. But I then watched some videos and I was like, yeah, I don't think I can take that, you know. <laughs> and then the rest of the lads, uh, they're not riding today, but they're riding tomorrow at Dirt Farm. And again, even yesterday, Justin was like, come on, man, You've got the e-bike, just ride up and... Yeah, so I think I could ride Dirt Farm, to be honest with you, particularly the blue and the red. I think I could ride them all day long. Um, however, there are big tables in those those trails, and I'm not certain I'd be able to um, hold myself back from taking off on them. I just think I would. I think I would. Like I just the the urge would be too big. So I'm taking that away by bloody hell. Somebody just bit me on the neck. <clears throat> anyway, <laughs> I'm taking away any temptation basically. So today's ride will be interesting to see what I hit and what I don't hit, and if I'm able to continue that method of avoiding big obstacles or big jumps. All right, well, um, I'm gonna head to the visitor center and have a coffee before I start hitting the trails. Catching them. Oh, did you like the footage of the shop as well, by the way? Um, yeah, get in the comments. If you've um, if you've visited PCR for e-performance, then what are these bugs, man? <laughs> uh, yeah, if you've been in that store, then um, please share your, your views. Um, and what the service was like and what the products, uh, maybe some suggestions you've got. Um, yeah, let us know what you think. If you haven't been there, get down there, get yourself 15% off. TDPBB, TDPBB, TDP, so do that again. TDPB 15, quote it. Peace. Coconut and date slice. <sighs> mm. 
Checking out on that one. Didn't know when it was gonna come. And uh, yeah, I've got to say I need to uh, adjust the suspension slightly on this bike. It is feeling really bouncy. Oh, quite choppy. Uh, felt good to hit the other two though. Also, my vision went a little bit ropey. Uh, when it switched from light to dark so that put me off a little bit I don't need any put offs at the minute I need it all to run smooth new trail to me I've spotted a few about three different new trails I don't I don't know whether I'm gonna ride them all but I'm gonna ride this one see what happens hey, hey. I haven't changed my suspension yet so I'll have to rock with it a little bit turny a little bit wet down here actually oh up and over Turn. Uh, 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 ooh, tricky. Oh my god, that's tricky. Oh. Uh, neck. <laughs> Alright, that was cool. <laughs> that was cool. It was a bit tricky, but it was cool. A oh, little bit of getting used to with the bike as well, just to oh, keep going on about the centre of balance on bikes, especially bikes I'm not used to. Just to uh, naturally find it on my own bike and then have this awkward searching thing going on when I'm on another bike. But all good. It's all good and no pain so that's the main thing okay, we're gonna try track track number two now see how we're going with this Whew. Oh. 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 don't ask me what I'm doing I'm clueless oh my god oh my god Oh my god. Oh. That was nerve wracking. Oh. Alright, I'm getting to find out what I'm able to do at the minute. That was risky. This feels similar or the same as the other one. It's not the same. It's quite a different place. Oh god. I ain't gonna lie. My nerves are going through the roof then. That's the end of the other one. Oh yeah, that, that one got me. I got really tense. 
I could feel my core being stretched a bit, trying to balance and it's a bit rutty, a bit too trick that is for me at the minute, I think. I'm glad I've survived it, but I think I'm gonna leave those new trails alone for the minute. Uh, I mean, it doesn't get any skinnier than that. It's like, it's not even single track, it's like tire track. Like <laughs> one track, like unicycle as well. Like there's not even been two wheels on it. Uh. I love those turns. Oh. Oh. Water in the sock, man. What the heck? Oof. <laughs> but it was a bit of exploring and that's the beauty of an e-bike I guess didn't waste any of my own energy really alright let's go and do something a little bit more fun bop, bop. yeah I can definitely feel that my core's not as strong as it was <sighs> need to do some core exercises try and build that up I feel like I'm playing a tug of war the closest call I've had <sighs> okay so I think I know the reason for that and it's part of the reason why I've got this little touch of nervousness going on around me <sighs> these sound like excuses they're really not um you know just about you you're about to say something you're like that seems like an excuse that does I suppose it is in a way but we shouldn't be ashamed to have reasons let's just call them reasons anyway <laughs> uh so I'm running the knobby nicks on this bike. I've never run them before, but what was quite obvious to me versus the maxes that I normally ride on is that these side knob balls don't go up and out. The whole tire's a bit, it's a bit round. And I did wonder what it was gonna be like in the corners. I'm not saying they're a bad tire, 
but it was my front that slipped then and to have knobby nicks on the front and back maybe wouldn't be my preferred choice i think i'd want something a little bit aggressive let's say on the side walls there to tackle those slippy little sections like that anyway right down three bars truth is you're always gonna have moments like that on a mountain bike that's just the way it is um, and with the conditions as well the only difference for me is that i just cannot afford to crash right now cannot afford to crash But I went for that little little double there. It's only small, but it's actually safe to jump the double than to roll the two rollers. Right, one of my favourites. It's been a while. If you know, you know. Whoop, whoop. Something I like to call pallet, pallet. That's not the trail. <laughs> Oh my god, it's not good, it's not good. Okay, I'm not doing the gap jump today. I'm gonna skip that. The GoPro might fall off. It's not glued on too well at the minute. Oh my god, I so want to do it. Oh, I wanted to do that. It's okay though, right? It's alright. It's all a bit longevity. Oh. Shopping. Oh. Oh. Nice. Oh. Oh. Okay. to scrap this idea unless I uh, a cable tie or super glue it on it's gonna be an issue but I didn't actually hear that come off then I didn't hear it come off I just um, felt it hit my leg <laughs> and then I must have just kneed it into the brush that's a bit of a shame reverting back to mouth cam it was this jump that did it, I think. <laughs> I knew the other jump was going to knock it off. I didn't think this little one would. Whether this is the right thing to do to put it on here or not, I don't know. I might have messed it up now anyway, the glue. Um, I, I stuck it down and then I tried to glue it down, but it wasn't like a super glue. Um, it was a strong glue, but just not a super glue. Um, I don't even know the difference between that strong glue and super glue. Anyway, let's just assume there is a difference. I just don't know how I feel about having a chest strap on over the top of armor like this. Just feels a bit, how many more things you want to put on like? Do you know what I mean? I'm gonna end up like complaining like women do about bras. You know, gotta wear a bra, then you gotta wear a sports top, then you gotta wear this. And... My missus don't sound like that, by the way, I'm just talking generally. Looks nice around here. All the green leaves. Uh-oh. Okay. Uh, that's rough. Janky, as Justin says. Uh, oh. Uh, oh. Uh. Oh, that corner's got horrible. All right, okay. Yeah. Yeah, that corner's... I heard about that corner, actually. Yeah. Trevor had said that the, uh, the logs moved. It's all washed away, so it's an off-camber corner now. Which, uh, it's a bit sketch. Let's go and do about two or three more runs. Uh, but from this point, I'm the furthest from my house 
and I'm going to start to make my way home. <sighs> Hope you've enjoyed the clips. I've enjoyed it. It's been a bit nerve wracking, I gotta admit. A few little moments, haven't I? Just in a. I'm going to ride up this because. The other times I've gone through here, I thought, I wonder if that takes you somewhere useful. But today I can find out. I've got an e-bike, let's just do it. Um, I'm not going to show you though. I'll see you tomorrow. Um, maybe I won't show you the entrance. <laughs> but yeah, this is it anyway. A few walkers coming along here by the looks of it. A few mountain bike tracks. Interested to see where it brings me out. <sighs> Oh my god. Okay, both well, hands on the end of the water. Right? <sighs> water, 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 water. Water, 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 water. Pretty much know the direction I'm going in now. Not really where I wanted to be going. I should have carried on. But at least I know. <sighs> Damn it. Sometimes I just don't know the difference between bike trails and animal trails <laughs> this here is an animal trail <sighs> okay back up back up back up better step up trail next then oh what a beautiful day man jesus all right let's do this Jesus Christ, man. Oh. Oh. That didn't do me any good at all. It's just like some right buckarooing going on. Okay, let's keep going, man. Oh. Felt pretty good for you there, but you just, just those breaking bumps. Did enjoy it as well, but like I say, braking bumps are scaring the head out of me at the minute. All right, let's crack on. Well, this guy's topless. That's how warm it is. I believe it's like 18 degrees max and then low, lowest of seven degrees. It was actually ace. Now, when I looked at the bike, I was like, well, I don't know much about form. I've never ridden another form bike. The brand itself didn't scream out to me as being that exciting, but actually I had stacks of fun on it, um, and it was solid, but it, it rode really well. And I did have a bit of a knocking sound going on, but someone had told me, um, away from the shop actually, someone out on the trail says that that's quite a common thing with Bosch motors. The batteries are designed to rattle in there, um, and it just keeps contact, it's so that it doesn't damage the contacts apparently. Um, I don't know how whether that's fact or not but that was something that was said to me so yeah it's it's actually a great looking bike it felt solid it was super fast really comfortable yeah fantastic bike now um i'm not sure what the future of form looks like um however the company that owns form has gone into liquidation i believe um so these bikes have been reduced uh, and you can get them for an absolute bargain down at the store so head on in there um, see what the price up at and I'd imagine you'd be able to get yourself a discount with our code as well TDPB15 word what we got here this looks less more interesting uh -oh. that's the riding done for today and I hope you've enjoyed the clips. Please like, comment, subscribe if you're not already subscribed. If you need a bike shop you can trust, head over to PCR ePerformance and they'll take care of you over there. Don't forget to quote the TDPB15 and that will give you 15% uh, discounts in store. 
they do all kind of servicing and they've got some lovely e-bikes in there and loads of kit that you might be interested in so yeah go and check it out walk through the doors you might have to wait for them to open them because they've got like electronic locking uh, but once you've gone through the doors up the stairs and then mountain bike heaven is right there thanks for watching drop us a comment roadie roadie might go and chase him in a minute i'm only joking cool peace out So, my mum watches these videos. <laughs> I never give her a mention or a shout out, and so today I'm gonna do it. Uh, mainly because she said, when are you gonna get some videos out, Ryan? I'm bored. Uh, isn't it nice to have your mum interested in what you get up to? I said to her, it's the only way I'll get a word in edgeways with you. <laughs> she probably just sits there quietly listening to me, which she never does when we're together. But yeah, shout out mum. Love you mum. Thanks for supporting me. Thanks for following uh, the channel and watching all the videos. Uh, I hope you've found them entertaining. And uh, I hope you're always there to watch my videos. Even if you're the only one watching, I'll carry it on for you. Love ya. <laughs> yeah. They're great, ain't they, parents?